so in this video i will show how do we measure uh, uh, performance of a particular application uh, so to measure performance we can use a performance counter uh, i will open a performance counter and for a sample performance i will just take private bytes parameter of the process here the process is internet explorer that's what uh, we are going to explore and the parameter we are going to explore is a private byte so first i will open the perform uh, just click on the start menu then type perform so perform is uh, filtered here uh, now i am clicking it if it is a uh, xp you directly type uh, perform.exe in the run menu then start it here if you see the performance is uh, uh, monitor is started and under monitoring tool i am double clicking a performance monitor so this is how the performance monitor appears when i open uh, by default it shows some graph and the parameter it is measuring is uh, processor time that means here we are measuring the uh, performance of the system i mean the operating system and we are measuring the processor time here um, this counter is specific to os uh, we can add performance counter which is specific to process also okay I'm just uh, deleting the existing uh, performance counter. And I will show how do you add a new performance counter. So I'm clicking the add button here. Here in this tab, uh, I mean this uh, control, uh, you are seeing all the performance category groups. There are a lot of groups. If you see here. Uh, RAS sport uh, related performance, uh, processor related performance or process related performance. By default, when I opened the perf monitor, you uh, you actually saw a, a graph in uh, a red lines which shows a processor time that comes under uh, this category, under processor category. If you see this, the uh, processor time tells you how the process is utilized okay in this uh, video our goal is uh, determine the private byte of a particular process uh, in that case it is a uh, internet explorer so first i am expanding the process group then okay. here it is private byte so i'm going to private byte uh, private byte usually tells uh, uh, a byte uh, which is private to your particular process and that means uh, uh, for example if you allocate something on the heap uh, that's private to your particular process which is allocating that heap memory until the heap is released so this will be useful to know uh, how a private byte is consumed by a particular process so here in the bottom uh, uh, bottom list i am actually choosing the process uh, what you are seeing is a list of process displayed here and i am choosing a uh, internet explorer so this normal windows explorer i explorer is displayed here that's all so i selected a process and i selected a process counter as well now if i add here you will see that in the added counters uh, private byte is added once i click ok you can see a graph there okay some kind of a scaling problem here uh, the private byte is coming at coming in the top so to adjust scaling just right click here then choose properties since uh, the scale is at the top i am trying to do more scaling to bring it down 
okay here it came in some cases uh, you actually need to know uh, the private byte allocated uh, using task manager also you can see how much uh, private byte is allocated for the particular process then use the scaling factor which I shown here uh, to multiply the actual number so that it will fit in 0 to 100 scale range <coughs> so for example if my uh, private byte allocated is uh, some uh, thousand then I should uh, do a multiplication of uh, 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 will come under uh, 0 to 10 you can multiply it by 0.1 to fit into 100 0 to 100 range so I'm closing this video for now